Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, are you ready to race? I'm Ghost Robo, and welcome to the newest and probably craziest and most unexpected mode that Destiny has yet to offer, Sparrow Racing League. I went in quite unsure of what this would be like, but let me tell you, it is genuinely a heck of a lot of fun, and I love the aesthetic. This has my favorite armor, my favorite sparrows, my favorite color scheme that Destiny has ever put into place. And the racing itself is pretty darn intense. We're racing sparrows across the Martian landscape, boosting through gates and trying to beat out five other opponents. Uh, you can bring in a whole party or a partial party either way uh, and go to work against your friends and foes uh, and earn gear and loot along the way. Um, there are two maps, one on Venus, one on Mars. I like the Mars one better. There's more uh, obstacles, and so that's the one that we are taking a peek at today. These gates that you see are not required for completion or any sort of time extension, uh, but they do help with boosting uh, our sparrow across the landscape. A bunch of different paths, uh, possibly some shortcuts as well, but I found pretty freaking fun uh, to choose how you're going to navigate these courses. And it has a little bit of that pod racing vibe. Whoa! Almost fell off the edge there. A little bit of that pod racing vibe, which is perfect for the impending Star Wars Episode 7 release later this month. You can get your hands on this uh, mode December 8th. That's this coming Tuesday. I had to play it early here at PlayStation Experience, record some for you. And like I said, it is actually one of my favorite things I've done in Destiny. Smashing into pillars and trying to put our foes uh, in the same place. Um, the gates are kind of a critical uh, point of, of decision making because you either go through the gates to guarantee boost or you just continue on sort of the path of least resistance and take the trail uh, that seems the best to you. And, and they track how many gates you hit. Uh, here are these very scary fans that can quickly end your life and throw you into a respawn screen, which is not good if you're trying to win. Uh, I'm racing against a bunch of their Destiny players. Mr. Fruit is currently in first place. He says he's nothing personal, but it's quite personal, so we're going to make sure we take him out. Um, so the gates, they're, they're really uh, designed well with a nice little tweak that Left encourages more uh, competition within the races. So you'll notice that as I climb uh, the poles, uh, the, the gates get smaller and smaller. So it becomes harder and harder to hit these gates as I rise through 6th, 5th, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st place. And then if I drop back, the gates widen to encourage and increase your chances of hitting more of these. But uh, back to what I was saying a second ago, they do track the number of gates you hit. And frequently in the races we played, the person who hit the most gates ended up in 5th or 6th because it's not so much about hitting all the gates as it is about picking the best line and making sure that you stay in front of your opponents. Um, I am flipping right there and it seems like at this moment I'm out of contention. I drop back to 5th, the gates have widened uh, as big as a whale's mouth and we are doing our best to get back into the race. Once you get out of it, uh, like say you die twice in a row, it's kind of tricky to climb back. They do widen all those gates though so you have a chance if you're able to hit all of them and I did have instances where I started uh, way slow and was able to grab uh, a hold of the other racers. Now you saw someone drop into a canyon below, so that climbs us to fourth. And everybody is in sight. These are three lap races and it tracks your progress along the course on the right hand side. There are enemies that can hit you. I've never been killed by one or saw anyone die by one, but it can sort of just obstruct your view and your progress a little bit. More importantly though, is avoiding those fan blades, uh, which can be quite a bittersweet end to your first place hopes and dreams. Some of these corners are quite tricky. I went more with the uh, let's accelerate all the time approach and just hook those corners as tightly as I could as opposed to the break approach, which I saw quite a few people doing. Actually, this everyone else in plan. my uh, six player right. field seemed to take that tactic. Back. But I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go pedal the metal and see if we can do anything. Now, I was super excited when they unveiled this mode uh, because I knew I was flying out here to check out something cool uh, Destiny related, but I wasn't sure what it was. And I was like, it would be really sweet if it was something totally different. And I had no clue. And I was like, if it's just new multiplayer maps, like, okay, that'll be kind of fun. But, eh. but the fact that they've decided to throw creativity uh, into the game and add something totally new. I was talking to some of the people from uh, Bungie and Activision. They were saying that they have been experimenting with different things, sort of like uh, the Halloween event was sort of the first of those in this Sparrow Racing League, is a way to inject a little bit of new and fresh blood into the game and try out things, see what sticks, see what's fun. Like I said, this only lasts for three weeks um, initially, but I would be 
uh, inclined to think that if it goes over well and people like it, maybe they'll add more maps and bring it back. Because the two here are pretty cool, and I'd love to see a full slew, uh, a full slate of maps across the different planets. I think that would be pretty cool. These gates here um, are just sort of, again, like booster gates. They're not uh, anything to do with the lap. The lap is the actual big sort of see-through gate that you see. I now have taken over first place, though, surprisingly and shockingly. Lap 3 is coming to a close, and I know they are right on my butt, right on the tail of this sparrow as I flap my wings ferociously. That gate get right there was super grand and lucky, and we are cruising towards our first place, bruising after starting off super slow and hitting some unluck e patches. We come in first. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. You can see the gates there. I actually hit uh, 59, whereas the guys in third and fourth hit 63 and 67, and then 68 for fifth place and 60 for sixth. So, again, the gates are not a guarantee that you're going to win, which I like. It kind of gives you the flexibility to, you know, do I want to take the path of least resistance? Do I want to try to hit all the gates? Can I do a little bit of both? Um, and then using sort of those side swipes to course correct yourself and stay on track. I found that to be really effective. And I think if you hit the gates, um, they, it refreshes your, uh, your side swipe and allows you to do that again, which helped me as I would boost off some of those uh, lips and not necessarily get the exact straight trajectory that I wanted. You could kind of just, again, finickily move yourself back into uh, place. I love the armor that is accessible through the Sparrow Race Link. There are individual rewards um, and unique loot that is only accessible through this mode. Um, and here we are back on the tower and you'll get to see uh, some of the other ways that the SRL affects the game. Uh, first of all, I think the armor is just ridiculously sexy, but I already said it. So let's go check out one of the uh, other aspects to the Sparrow Race Link, which is bounties. They have specific bounties um, via Amanda Holiday that kind of contribute to a quest line of sorts um, for Sparrow Racing, which I think is That's cool that it's not just a multiplayer mode, but they found a way to tie it back in to the overarching meta, um, which is pretty cool. And you can see that you'll get event standings and experience uh, that then will allow you to buy sparrows and gear, um, emotes and Thank more. We'll go over to uh, another place in the tower that has been modified uh, thanks to the Sparrow Racing League. Um, as we move towards right over here. Mm. All right, hello, Tess Everest. Um, and this time, uh, we've got emotes, we've got mystery bags, and we have the record book. Now, the record book is something that will track all of your accomplishments uh, and all of your uh, stats and times and records uh, within the Sparrow <laughs> Racing League. But they've, they've done it smartly, where if you don't buy it right off the bat um, and you buy it later on, say you're not sure if you're going to like Sparrow Racing, not sure if you want to invest a lot of your sure. resources into that, and then you decide later on that, hey, I really do, uh, that okay. book will auto-fill with all of your previous stats. So it's always tracking. It's just up to you to buy the book. Cool. Um, and you're seeing that, that we're getting some of the emotes by. here um, that are pretty cool, as well as uh, there's some mystery bags that give you new horns and new sparrows um, and some, some there you go. quite epic sparrows, which we'll go through in a second here. A couple of the emotes bowing down, which is my personal favorite uh, here. And then the air guitar, which seemed to be the fan favorite of the day. Uh, rocking out in style. Um, there are different armor sets and, and different coloring, obviously, that you can put on it. Uh, but this was by far my favorite, for sure. Um, and then this one is probably the goofiest. Not sure you could feel so so strong or intimidating doing this. But hey, if you want to be goofy, rolling and rocking around the tower, you can. Uh, let's go check out um, some of the stuff that we got. If we open up our character screen here... Um, the characters were obviously all pre-leveled and whatnot, so I didn't pick any of this stuff. But here is the uh, the record book, which you'll see provides, again, how many races you finished, gates hit, events standing earned, tricks landed, races won, most gates in a single race, fastest race, fastest lap across the two maps. So there's Mars, and here's Infinite Descent on Venus, uh, one that you haven't seen. If you want to see that race, I have footage of it. Just let me know in the comments. Hit that like button. I'll bring it your way. Um, and it, again, it tracks things throughout, which I think is cool. And I... I'm a huge fan of this red, teal, white color scheme. Uh, they had these t-shirts and these track jackets at the event. I'm like, I gotta get one of those. Because even though I'm not, like, the biggest Destiny fan, it looks super darn sexy. Uh, custom horn kits here. Um, that's just some fall emotes and things that you've already seen. Um, we'll open those up anyways. Um, celebratory, celebratory bundles uh, for congrats, blowing a kiss, power, and uh, evil scheme. Which I'm not sure if those are new. Frankly, I don't really mess with the emotes a whole lot. Um, but we can go in and then open these things up. Uh, this is where I was just checking out the different armors and things that they had going on here. Uh, helmets and whatnot. Um, mixing it up and changing uh, kind of the look. You can put some horns on. Uh, I think this is the coolest look uh, that that 
Guardians have have looked since the game came out. Personally, I think it's just awesome, and I would rock this even if I wasn't racing. Um, there are the different horns, and some that we unlocked throughout opening uh, those random packs. And then in a second here, you'll get to see all of the Sparrow variety uh, from this new mode slash uh, mini expansion. Some of them are really, really cool. Uh, we'll go through. There is a sleek black one, and, and it kind of just, they even look Pod racer esque it, it makes me think of, uh, I got the the Darth Vader PS4 bundle, uh, and that came with a code for pod racing for PS2 to put on PS4, and I kind of want to install that now and play it before the movie. Flames along the side of my red vehicle, and um, this one rocking a citrus theme, making me desperately crave some Jamba Juice smoothies. About to go have one of those after I record this video. Actually, a nice pink one, uh, which is very, very uh, in line with my helmet, and then we have a snow screen, a little bit of white love there. This guy is very cool with the arc lightning running through its veins. Momentum Master matches my uh, my look the most, so that's the one uh, I would probably use. Then we've got a Tron style nightstand uh, blue with the glow, uh, and then down below the void streak here, which has a purple smoke and smear through it. Oh, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video. That is Sparrow Racing. Actually, really fun and got me back into Destiny in a way uh, that I totally didn't expect. I hope you guys like enjoyed the video. So thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic really day. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments like down that. below. Until that time, though, thanks again. Drink some hot chocolate. We will see you all later.